Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a houseplant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how we can identify the variegation on the next node for the variegated monstera. And we have this video today because this is such a commonly asked question. Even though I did cover this in a small part in one of my I have two variegated monstera videos. In the second video, I did cover how we can identify this, but this video is just gonna dive into that because again, too many people are asking that. And also this will help you determine whether you want to cut up your monsteras or sometimes you may have a monstera that is mostly green or mostly white and you can actually study from the main stem uh, to see how uh, if there are any potential nodes there with drawing eye right on the spot where you can strategically make a cut so that you can get a, a whole new plant that is confirmed to be variegated so in today's video i'm just going to be it's going to be mastering the variegation and how you can cut your plant back accurately to know it's going to be a good variegation or not. All right, so I'm gonna get right to it. The first thing that you need to figure out if, is if the cutting is a top cutting or not because it makes a huge difference. In this case, this is a top cutting and you know that because this was cut from the very top of the plant, this means that the variegation, you will see it from the back of the petiole here. So the monsteras grow in a way that is like left, right, left, right. So the next leaf from this plant, sorry, this is a little bit tangled up. The next leaf from this plant is gonna come from the left side because it's splitting from the right side of the previous leaf it's going to go left right left right as you can see this little triangle here that is where the new leaf is going to emerge from from the back of the petiole it's going to split out from here so the next leaf for this plant unfortunately is going to be green you can tell from here because this left side of this petiole is green and the right is the variegated so with the top cutting you always want to make sure you check the back of the petiole of the latest leaf so this is another leaf again this is going left this is going right so it's going to come up on the back left side of the newest leaf so as you can see here the, this leaf has a little bit of variegation over here it's actually a very balanced variegation of green and white so the next leaf will also impart some of that green and white in here one more time the leaf goes left right left and right as you can see maybe the top here yeah you can see better from here left right left right it's always how it grows so here's uh, the second last leaf and here's the newest leaf and you should be worried because it's all white but then uh, because this is left this is going right the next leaf is coming from the left side of the last leaf and as you can see here it is a little bit green so i'm not worried that the next leaf is going to be green so i'm not going to cut this leaf off in fact if i do want to cut it off i'll cut it off right here because the new leaf will emerge somewhere around here so yeah i'm not really worried look at that green so it's going to be mostly white but it's have a decent amount of green in the next leaf here's a wonderful example of the leaf coming out from the back of the petiole of that last leaf again this leaf came out from the right so this leaf came out to the left and the next leaf here is coming out a little bit to the right. So it's on the back, but a little bit to the right of the plant. So if the plant has a little bit of variegation on this part, it's gonna impart that variegation off to the next leaf. So this leaf, let me do a prediction. It looks really white right now, but I can see from the patio. In fact, it is going to have a little bit of green. You can see that there's a little bit of green stripe right here, but it's going to be mostly white and this video is not going to be about how to maintain variegation because that is in my other video from before that i'm going to link up above but yeah this is basically purely how to predict the next leaf and this is important because sometimes we want to make an informed decision before we make a purchase or before we cut our plants up and pr propagate them because sometimes if the plant has reverted to green you can possibly figure out the variegation on the lower nodes which we're going to talk about next okay so what do you do when your plant is taken from the midsection cutting here well first of all it's going to start producing new branches that are smaller so the best and most expensive cuts are usually the top cutting so just keep that in mind when you cut the middle section you're going to revert that back in H a little bit now every node will always have an aerial root uh, a leaf here and then a growing eye it takes bit of a trained eye to see the growing eye but it will be this little disturbance uh, around here around the note and it's going to be different uh, differently placed in every note so you really do have to find it uh, but then when you look at it and it's you see that this weird little growing eye because this is where the new leaf was coming from if it coincides with any of the variegation on the stem it's going to be a variegated leaf this is going to be about 50 percent variegated i can tell from from this right here this swell right here is going to be probably about 80% variegated and then if you can see right here there's a little 
knob there, that's where the growing eye is. So if I cut right above that, that's how I want to do the cutting and I want to cut kind of below here. So I want to keep a little bit of the aerial roots where it's going to root. If it doesn't have this leaf, not a big deal. You don't need the leaf, but it's much better to propagate with the leaf, of course, but you could do wet stick propagation. But the most important part is to see this little knob here. And if you're buying a plant, make sure that it's got some variegation, not too much. Here's an example of a balanced variegation here. You can see it's a little bit half white and half green. That is also what we like. If you see that it's like thin stripes through them, you're going to have a splotchier plant in the next leaf. So this is actually a, a pretty low node here. So if let's say I decided to propagate this plant, which I will do soon, I can safely say that if I cut it right above that node here and leave that as a mother plant, this node is going to continue producing vines with variegated leaves. And sometimes when, if you know that it, the plant is going to give you all green leaves or all white leaves, you don't want to cut it there. You want to cut it probably above that. Now here's one that's always in trouble and I just cut this leaf off because it's all white. As you can see, this is coming from the, the new leaf here. It's coming from this patio. So it came out like, like that. And then uh, I am a little bit worried here because it kept putting out half. You see every other leaf here is white and that's why I cut them off. So I'm not that worried because if I grow this out as a mother plant, let me look around for here, there you go. This is an, uh, one of the variegated portion of uh, the leaf that was all white. If I cut this node off, look at this little disturbance here. That's the new growing eye. It's about, I would say it's about 60% white, about 40% green. So this is a, a very good cutting to take. And probably, let me look at below. Let me see more growing eye. It does take patience to, to find them. There's one right there. They're usually a little bit oval in shape. And sometimes they're hidden by these sheath here. This little dried sheath. So it's something you do have to, to carefully... I, this is very hard. Very hard to do this with one hand. Whoops. All right. So there's nothing there. With new leaves, uh, especially on a top cutting, it's very difficult because they take the while for the growing eye to show. But maybe, I don't know, I see a little bit of something there. Uh, sometimes you have to really look around the plant for it. And yeah, this is too young to, to find. But all of the nodes will have growing eyes for sure. So you just really need to look carefully and if it doesn't appear yet, maybe do give it a little bit more time for it to present itself to you. But there are many nodes here that I can take cuttings off and it's really important for me to know, to plan where to cut. And finally, let me show you the last portion of this video. I'm just going to show you a few of the cuttings that I already took. So this cutting, when I took it, I'm already sure it's got a little bit of variegation and as you can see here, the little uh, branch, the new branch that they put out, it's also variegated. So if this growing eye before was completely green, it will not give me this variegated portion. So when you're buying, again, when you're buying your plants or when you're propagating it, make sure you know your variegation. It tells you, if you learn how to read the signs, it tells you whether the next leaf is variegated or not. By the way, a lot of the plants uh, work the same way, like your philodendron pink princess, your white knights, and all that, they have the same exact way of identifying in Monstera, Adensoniae, variegated, the same exact way. All right, one last one before I let you go. Look at this one. So look at the little vine here. The new vine is coming out from a very variegated portion. of The Monstera, it does have a little bit of green. But again, the growing eye will tell you before it even sprouted what it, the, the new next leaf is going to look like. So I hope that this video is helpful for you guys. I'm at Botanist on Instagram. Feel free to DM me if you have any questions. Although I hope that you don't ask me this question again because I would have shown you exactly how to identify this. And I guess stay safe everyone. See you in the next video. Bye!